Talents Friends series on most frequently asked coding questions. In this series, we are taking a look at a variety of questions that have been asked in interviews as well as written exams over the years. We are not only giving you the right solution, but also giving you tips and pointers to help improve your coding style and code like a professional. So let's begin. In today's video, we are going to write a program to count the frequency of each character in a given string. So let's say for example, we have this string programming. What we want to do is, we want to traverse through the string character by character and determine how many times each character is occurring in the string. So let's say for the string programming, the output would look something like this. P is coming once, R is coming twice, O is coming once. So similarly, just go ahead and print the whole output. All right. So we have written the function frequency count, which takes our string to be tested as input parameter. Starting off, we have first replaced all the blank spaces, removed all the blank spaces from our string using the function replace. What this replace function does is it removes the character that you have specified first and replaces it with the character that you have specified next after the comma. All right. So what we have done here is we have removed all spaces. Now we are left with only the characters in our string. Further on, we are traversing through our string using a while loop. So till the string length is greater than zero, we are traversing through our string. To determine each character, we have used the function char at. So str.char at zero will give you the character at the position zero. Storing it in ch, then we are printing on ch and to print the frequency, we are calling a separate function count char and passing the string and the character to this function count char. Now this will return you the frequency which will be printed in front of the character. Once you have checked for this particular character, now you don't need to check for it again. So you can replace that particular character in your string with nothing. So let's say if you have the string programming, all right, in the first iteration, you'll check for the character P. Once you're done with checking the frequency of character P, you'll replace all the occurrences of P in your string with nothing. So now for your next iteration, you're left with this string. Again, you'll do the same for R. Once you've checked the occurrences of R, you'll replace R with nothing. So your string for next iteration, once you've checked for R, will look like this. So you're, you're reducing your string size for traversal every time you're checking for a character in the string. Now, the actual coding, the counting of frequency is happening inside this count care function. So let's see how we have written that. In the count care function, we were passing the string and the character that has to be tested. So the same is seen here, the string and the character to be tested. We have created a variable count to hold the frequency and initialized it to zero. Now inside while loop, we are checking if the particular character is occurring in your string even once. Okay, so for that we have checked string at index of character is not equal to minus one. If it is equals to minus one, that means that particular character is not coming in your string at all. So if this is not equal to minus one, it will return you the position of the character in your string. So once you have that position and you enter the while loop, you are sure that that particular character is in the string at least once. So you increment your count by one. Now, index of will give you the position of the first occurrence of the character. So since you get the first occurrence of your character, that means till then only once that particular character is occurring. So for your next iteration, you can, you have to check only in the remaining string. You don't have to check for the whole string. So to check in the remaining string, 
you can create a substring from the position of the current character plus one till end. That is exactly what we are doing in this last line of our while loop. So str is equals to, we are replacing the current string with the substring starting off with the index of character plus one. So wherever the first character occurred, next position to it will start our substring till the end. Again, we'll check if in the new substring, which is now our string, the character is coming again. So if it is coming, it will give you the position of the character. If it is not coming at all further, it will give you minus one and you will jump out of the loop. Finally, what you have is the count of a character, which will be returned to your previous function and printed there. I'll show you the call of this function in main, but before that, I want to show you another more easy approach to achieve the solution. I'm sure you would have heard of map interface. What it does is it gives you a data type, a collection, a layout, wherein you store a key and a value. All right. Your whole data that is stored is stored in key value pairs. Now this key is unique and each key has only one value assigned to it. So since we have to do a frequency count of each character, our key becomes the character and the value becomes the frequency of that particular character. It will become fairly simple if we use this collection map. So as you see, we have the function frequency count wherein we have passed the string as input parameters. First off, here also we are eliminating all the blank spaces for the ease of traversing through the string. And then we have created a map called frequency count whose first value is a character that's a key and then the value is an integer. So we have a character integer map. Now we are going to traverse through each character by character of a string, right? So for character string dot two care array. So two care array, it converts your string into a character array then it becomes easier to traverse through that character array. All right. Inside the for loop, we are checking if our map already contains the character or not. If it already contains the character, we will get the value, the frequency of that particular character incremented by one and put it back. And if the map doesn't contain the particular character, we'll simply put the character in the map and give the value as one. So if the contains key, this condition that we have put here comes out to be true. That means the character is already present in the map. So we'll get the current count, current value incremented by one and put it back in the map. All right. If it is not already there, we are simply putting the character and the value one since it's the first occurrence of the particular character. And finally, we are printing the map frequency count. As you see this using map interface, our program became fairly simple, right? There's not much to do here. Everything that we are doing is done by the inbuilt functions of the map interface, like two char array of the string converts the string to a character array. The contains key function checks whether the map already contains the character or not. Then we have put and get functions of the map which we are using to check for the values and put those back there. Let's see the call in the main function. We are passing the string programming to our function and the output would come out exactly as we expected. Since we are printing the map and while storing the values in the map, we stored them in the order the string had characters. So when you print it out, everything will be printed out in the order of the occurrence of characters in the string. So P, then R, then O, and so on. I hope you enjoyed this program and understood the concept of map. If you have any questions regarding this particular video, or if there are any questions that you want us to take up in our series, please drop a mail at the email ID mentioned. And don't forget to subscribe since we'll be coming up with many more interesting questions on the series. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग एंड हैप्पी कोडिंग